Hello, Cyclocross friends. It's Friday, November 15th, 2019, and you are tuned in to episode 11 of the Vole Apparel CXT Check Power Rankings. Brought to you by Vole Premium Collections and Custom Apparel for Women and Men. U.S. made and built with pride and purpose for your best ride. Available exclusively at Vole.com. V-O-L-E-R.com. We all know the algorithm can't be bought, but it can certainly be sponsored. And this week, it is sponsored by Team Specialized Feedback Sports. Feel a little shaky if you've been away from your bike too long? Wake up early to catch up on all of the cyclocross action you may have missed while sleeping? Then you too may have the CX fever. And if you do, you should definitely be following Team Specialized Feedback Sports and their members, Magali and David, as they race throughout the season. They put out a great weekly newsletter that you should subscribe to if you don't already. You will receive behind-the-scenes content, race updates, mechanics tips, and more. Subscribe on www.magalierochette.com. CX Fever. And now on to the show. We have 10 weeks of racing under our neck buffs and waterproof gloves, and this past weekend featured another split squad calendar. A large contingent of elite racers were in Midland, Ontario for the Pan Am Cyclocross Championships, while many others went to Massachusetts for the Northampton International Cyclocross and the first two rounds of the Verge New England Cyclocross Series. For episode 11 of the CXT Check Power Rankings, we are once again starting with the men's side, and since y'all responded so well to last week's Iceman Cometh coverage, we're slotting in another alum from that race into the 11th spot. It's Cody Kaiser, fifth at Iceman, but probably more relevant is his fourth place finish at the Pan Am Championships. Kaiser has been on a roll, and now he's back on the heat check. Holding steady in the 10th spot, it's Ben Frederick. Two podiums at NoHo for Frederick. He gets a lot of double takes when coming around the corners. It's mostly pretty nice. It's mostly pretty all right. In ninth position is Lance Hayden. Rumor has it that lettuce growing season is coming to an end and Hayden's chopping the salad. For that reason alone, he should be off the power rankings. But a fifth place in the Silver Goose C2 and a top 10 in the Pan Ams race has Hayden making it by a hair. In eighth place is... Lance Meyer. This is where things get complicated and the algorithm has to work overtime. Mayer didn't compete in the elite race at Pan Am, but the U23 race instead. But he was competing against a field of racers who have all been on elite podiums this year. Coming in second to Gage Hecht, one of the fastest in North America, and beating Eric Bruner, who also won a UCI race this year, slots Mayer safely into eighth. In the seventh spot is Michael Vandenham. Our second favorite Canadian could not capitalize on home field advantage at Pan Ams and ended up in sixth place, which drops him from third down to seventh in the power ranking. In sixth place is Stephen High. A win in the Silver Goose C2 followed up by a disappointing DNF in Pan Ams keeps Hyde in a holding pattern in sixth. Which brings us to our top five. And in the five hole, it's McTubbin. Moving on up to the east side, Tobin Ortenblatt sweeps NoHo and takes the lead in the NECX series. It's no deluxe apartment in the sky, and it's a NoHo cookie and not a piece of the pie. But despite all that, Tobin is up in the big leagues, getting his turn at bat. In the fourth spot, in the CXC check power rankings, is Jamie Driscoll, the dangler. Another Iceman Cometh alum not only enters the CXC check, but is the CX heat seeker, going from off the charts to number four. Similar to what he's been doing in races, Driscoll comes out of nowhere to fight for the podium. He did it both days in Canada, finishing third for the Silver Goose and Pan Am races. He also had this sensational endo that you know the algorithm took into account and scored favorably. And here we are at our top three. In the third spot is Gage Heck. A second place in the elite Silver Goose C2 race before dominating the U23 Pan Am Championship, Hecht remains on the heat check podium. Which brings us to the top two spots and the continuing Kerry Werner and Curtis White rivalry. For the season so far, Werner and White each have six wins. Werner won Go Cross Day 2, Fayette Cross Day 1, Charm City Day 1, DCCX Day 1, Cincy Day 1, and the Pan Am Championship. White! has won Go Cross Day 1, Rochester Day 2, Fayette Cross Day 2, Charm City Day 2, Cincy Day 2, and both days at Really Rat. On paper, they are virtually equal. But there are no ties in Heat Check Land, and Kerry Warner took out White in the big one, the Continental Championship, 
which means he has retaken the lead in the CX Heat Check Power Ranking. Kenny is back in the driver's seat, which means White drops to second. While you take a look at the top 11 and consider that 11 is the first positive integer to have repeating digits and the first prime number to begin R and in one, we will move on to the women. In the 11th spot is Caitlin Bernstein, a newcomer to the CX Heat Check. Bernstein grabbed a third and fourth place finish at NoHo to get her Power Rankings ticket punched. In 10th place on the Power Rankings, it's Arlie Kemmerer, the attorney at law, the jurist dismounter, the barrier barrister. Kemmerer continues her worst retirement ever tour with a second and third place finish at NoHo. Slotting in at number nine is Maddie Monroe, the prodigy, the heat check fire starter, sixth place in the Silver Goose, and then a commanding win in the Pan Am's junior race that saw her speed through the U23 field to finish second overall. Trouble starter, punkin' instigator indeed. In the A spot, it's Jen. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Fourth place at the Silver Goose and fifth place in Pan Am's Jackson is calling it a season, which leaves us here in CX Heat Check land. Oh, so disappointed! Coming in at number seven is Carolyn Nolan. Ninth last week, Nolan moves up two spots after sweeping NoHo and leading the NECX series. In sixth place is Katie Klaus, a third place finish at the Silver Goose and a fourth place in the Pan Am's U23 race after an unlucky mechanical had her running half the course Klaus tumbles from third down to six. In fifth place is Ruby West. A disappointing Canadian champs race had West chomping at the bit for Pan Ams, and she delivered with a win in the U23 field. Couple that with a fifth place finish in the Silver Goose, and West moves up two spots to fifth. Sliding in next is Courtney McFadden. Around here, we call her Star Wars because the fourth is always with her fourth place in Pan Am's four times in a row. Algorithm or not, there's no other place McFadden can land this week other than fourth. Which brings us to our top three. Three out of the past four weeks, the top three in the CXC Check Power Rankings have been Becca Farringer, Clara Hansinger, and Magli Rochette. All three have populated at one point or another all three spots. So this calculation is never an easy one. But for episode 11, it kind of played itself out on the field. In third spot, finishing third in the Pan Am Elite race is Becca Farringer. In second is your silver medal winner at Pan Am's, Clara Hansinger. Which means, for the third week in a row, after a dominating weekend and a second consecutive Pan Am championship, Magali Rochette is number one in the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. And there you have it, episode 11 of the CX Heat Check. As you take another look at the top 11 women in the Volley Apparel CX Heat Check Power Rankings, I want to once again thank our sponsor of this episode, Team Specialized Feedback Sports. Keep up to date with the CX Fever by subscribing to the newsletter at MagaliRochette.com. It's a really good read, CX Fever. Let us know your thoughts by using the hashtag, hashtag CX Heat Check. Leave a comment below subscribe to the channel, and tell your cyclocross friends to do the same. Also, hit us up at feedback at cxhairs.com with your questions and comments. Until next time, I'm Bill Scheichen for CX Hairs and the Wide Angle Podium Network. Talk to you soon, cyclocross friends.